Welcome to Intuitive Astrology with Molly McCord. Thank you so much for joining me today as we are going to do a deeper dive into a rare energy occurring in late July into August 2022. And we're going to be discussing Uranus in Taurus conjunct the North Node in Taurus at 18 degrees, also getting a boost from Mars making an exact conjunction to this degree point as well, followed by a very dynamic Aquarius full moon at 19 degrees that squares this energy point and activates even more dynamic changes. So we have a lot unfolding here, and we're going to be discussing it in today's podcast episode. This is a Monday show where we look at a specific astrology topic, and then the Wednesday episodes are about the weekly energies. So in this show, as we talk about Uranus conjunct the North Node in Taurus at 18 degrees, And then bringing in Mars, I want to start by saying this is eclipse energy. It's not officially an eclipse because typically an eclipse is working with the luminaries, but this is the dynamic change energy of eclipses. It's the same energy signature, and actually I would state it's even more powerful because it's more rare. It's rare, and I'm going to go through the different energetic contributions that are making this a very dynamic energy for all of us. And actually to begin, you should identify which house you have 18 degrees of Taurus in. Now everyone has all 360 degrees of the astrological wheel in their astrology chart. So you would be identifying where you have 18 degrees of Taurus and you do not need to have a planet or point there in order for this energy to work with you. Now if you have anything between 17 to 19 degrees of Taurus, this energy is going to be working with you more personally. And I'm giving it a very tight orb of only one degree on either side. And that's because Uranus conjunct the North Node stays at 18 degrees from the middle of July into early October. And that's because Uranus stations retrograde at 18 degrees. So Uranus is hanging out here at this degree point in Taurus for an extended period of time, bringing our attention and awareness to this particular degree point and adding a very strong emphasis to these energies in our lives. So again, between 17 and 19 degrees of Taurus would be the orb with that 18 degree point being the biggest energetic kaboom, kapow, shazam. It is a very big energy. And like I said, it's similar to an eclipse in this part of your chart. And that's because eclipses are about change. Eclipses bring up things that are ready to be moved, shifted. And in this eclipse energies, we see these cycles happening to make changes in our lives, to raise our consciousness, to understand how we're meant to keep evolving, especially as we move forward. So again, I feel like this is the energy signature of an eclipse. It's very dynamic. It's liberating, awakening, change, fast movement, quick things happening, and it can be very chaotic, unexpected, disruptive. There can be a lot of uncertainty as well. So we're going to talk more about these energies in today's show, as well as other things that are coming up as we move through July and August of 2022. Now, as I mentioned, Uranus is the energy of quick moving change, acceleration. It is actually the higher octave of Mercury. Mercury is about your human mind, our individual perceptions, how we communicate what we think about something, the information we take in, how we consume information, and then how we share it. And it's important to understand that Uranus is the higher octave of Mercury, where Uranus is about the cosmic intelligence, cosmic perspective, what is needed to shift and change, and how Uranus brings in these lightning bolts of fast moving developments. It's a bit like an electrical strike, lightning strike, something happens fast. And it's meant to keep us moving, keep us evolving. 
And it can also feel very destabilizing. Now, we've been talking about how Uranus is in Taurus, and Taurus is the first Earth sign concerned with our resources, our financial energies, concerned with what we own, our investments, what we find important and worthwhile. Taurus is about how we stabilize our lives, what we build our lives on, the foundational energy of our personal world. Taurus is about our values, what we find important in our lives and in our world, how we place emphasis on things because it has meaning to us. And it also directly relates to our self-worth, what we really believe about ourselves at a core level. Taurus connects us to how much we love and accept ourselves, how much we're really aware of our worth, not only in the world at large, but just our energetic worth. The worth that you hold just for existing, just for being here on the planet. And the Taurus intention is to build from that place where you build a life that has meaning, that is based on what is important to you, that also takes care of your fundamental needs, including food, shelter, water, clothing, the bare essentials of life. But once those are taken care of, how you expand that energy out, develop it and grow into more abundance, prosperity, creativity, uh, what you want to really create in your life because it matters to you. So now we have Uranus moving into a brand new degree point in Taurus. And this is very important because Uranus has not been here before. It's literally new territory in this lifetime. The last time Uranus was in Taurus was 1934 to 1942. And that was a big time in world history as we saw the rise of Hitler. We saw the Great Depression. We saw the first half of World War II. There was a lot of uncertainty. There was a lot happening in the world that really shook up what we thought or what we assumed was stable. So with Uranus moving through Taurus, it does bring up more of what we really want and need. It shakes it up again at a global level, but also at a personal level as we're being asked to really look at what does matter to us. Now, we also had other energies when Uranus was in Taurus, but there was also a very different consciousness on the planet. There were very different energies than there are now. So it helps to reference those previous cycles to paint a picture, but then it's also very important to note where we're at now, how much has shifted, as well as how much has not changed, and perhaps what we're ready to change in this cycle at this level of consciousness. But again, it's important to note that 18 degrees of Taurus is new territory for Uranus in this current cycle. So there's new energies opening up that we haven't experienced yet in this particular cycle. And these energies are new. So that's different than if Uranus had already been moving across this degree point and we already had a heads up. But in fact, Uranus moves to 18 degrees of Taurus then stations retrograde on August 24th and will retrograde back to 14 degrees of Taurus in January 2023 and then return to 18 degrees of Taurus again in April and May 2023. But because Uranus hangs out at this particular degree point for about three months, there is significance here that is important to note. So if you have planets or points, not only at 18 degrees of Taurus, but also any of the fixed signs. And again, I'm giving the orb between 17 and 19 degrees because of how long Uranus is at 18 degrees. And that would be noticing what you have in your chart at the fixed signs, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, planets or points between 17 and 19 degrees means that this energy is working with you more personally and it's more revolutionary for you. There's big life changes happening. There's something significant that you're opening up to that's changing for you in your world, specifically starting in July and going into October with the energy being the strongest in July and August. 
Now, if you have any planets or points between 17 or 19 degrees of the Earth signs, so not only Taurus, but also Virgo and Capricorn, 17 to 19 degrees, then this energy is supporting you in opening up to your next chapter, new steps, new directions. This is a trine energy that's often beneficial, that's often revealing to you more of what you're ready to try in a new way to do differently. The Uranus energy signature changes up our lives, switches things up, brings in something unexpected that we didn't see or didn't know about. And this energy is meant to take you forward. So not only do we have this very dynamic Uranus in Taurus in brand new territory, but it's working with the North Node. The North Node is how we're growing, what we're learning, what we're developing, where we're gaining confidence in some new skills, some new abilities. Our North Node is where the universe is directing us to go next. It's an opening. There's something here that we're moving into. And this conjunction with Uranus brings in that powerful punch of change, acceleration, unexpected developments, something maybe catches you off guard, that can be a good thing, right? There can be an unexpected offer or a new development. Something happens out of the blue. This could be something too that all of a sudden things just change up. You have to make a big decision or something is revealed to you that shows you a new way to go in your life. And because it's the North Node, it's going to stretch you. There's something here that could be showing you more of what's possible, what a potential is, where you're ready to grow forward, where you're ready to elevate a part of your life. And because it can happen so quickly, it can bring up uncertainty. It can bring up bigger questions. It can bring up more that you don't have immediate answers for right away. And that is something to just be aware of because you may have to manage that energy in yourself. It's connected to something opening up that is ultimately right on time at a cosmic level. And yet it can still be very jolting and unexpected to the human consciousness. But that's why we have astrology to show us these trends and these cycles, as well as what you're ready to break free from, which is another Uranus energy signature, where this energy could truly break you free of something from the past. Because it's conjunct the North Node, it's opposing that South Node in Scorpio, which was a very big energy signature in the last eclipses. When we had that eclipse, clips that was about what you're releasing, what you're working through. That Scorpio lunar eclipse brought up a lot from our personal underworlds. It brought up the fears, the emotional fears, things that we could have felt overwhelmed with. It could have been that it triggered a dark night of the soul. It triggered things you didn't know were sitting there in your energy. It could have been something came up that felt like a big gnarly monster and pulled you into its underworld and asked you to understand more of what's in your own psyche, what is running the energy behind the show, you know, more about what you didn't see in yourself before. Well, now this energy is taking us forward. So if you've been doing some intense, deep, transformative work since the last eclipses, which were in April and May, This energy could open up more freedom, more liberation, more answers, something else that you're ready to move towards and move into, and you could truly feel that you're complete with certain cycles that were really emotional, intense, deep, challenging, hard, all those words. But I feel like this energy is the universe showing us it's time to move forward, and there is an acceleration here into what you're ready to move towards next. Now, to be fair, this energy can also bring about breakups, things ending, things collapsing, where there's no more energy for something. The connection's no longer there. The energy is no longer alive. So if there's something that you've grown through, you've grown away from it, you're no longer resonating with it, this could be part of that freedom. 
This could also be something that shows you more about what you do value in this lifetime, what you need to devote your energy towards, what you want. And that's also an energy principle of Taurus. What do you want? Because as this North Node energy comes through, it opens up those potentials. And the North Node can show you something that you didn't see before because it is about divine timing. And I know we say that a lot and we use that term pretty freely, but the world of astrology shows us when there's energy for something, even if there wasn't energy for it previously. So this is about unlocking something in your world and in your life that now the cosmos really supports. So that's why you want to identify which house you have 18 degrees of Taurus in because that's where this opening is occurring for you. And then here comes Uranus with a strong burst of cosmic energy and really can blow things wide open and truly shake up our lives so that we move into some new experiences, new understandings, new levels of consciousness, new understandings of ourselves. So again, very dynamic energy. Now, I do want to highlight that there are two ways that the North Node is calculated. There is the true North Node and there is the mean North Node, and they move at different speeds. So the true North Node is an energy point that moves direct stations and retrogrades then stations and moves direct. And the true North Node is a bit like putting your foot on the gas and then the brakes, the gas and then the brakes. So if you were to look at this energy on an ephemeris, you would see how it has the forward motion, retrograde motion back and forth. So that is one way that the north node is calculated. The other way, the mean north node, the mean being the average, the average speed, the average pace, of how the North Node moves. So when you look at an ephemeris, the mean North Node shows you a fluid transition of energy where it doesn't start and stop, but it moves in one direction with greater ease. So there's two ways the North Node and South Node are calculated. And when I'm talking about these energies, I'm talking about both the true node and the mean node, meaning Uranus is conjunct the mean node from July 20th until about August 6th, but then it's conjunct the true node from July 30th until about August 10th. So there's an overlap in the energies here, and that's why we're referencing a bigger amount of time. So I know this is a little bit more technical, but that's what some of you often ask, and I wanted to explain that so that you knew what we were referencing, because Uranus is conjunct both the true node and the north node during this span of time. Then we have Mars conjunct Uranus and the nodes the beginning of August. So specifically August 1st to August 3rd, and Mars brings in the gasoline. Mars revs it up. Mars also activates your personal will, where something comes in around what you want, what you desire. Mars brings in that sense of this is more personal for me. This is something that I'm now more fully participating in because Mars is a personal planet. Mars is how we assert ourselves, how we go for what we want. Mars is our desires. Now, Mars in Taurus, however, is usually slower moving. It looks for the evidence. It looks for information that is practical and realistic before taking next steps. Mars in Taurus tends to slow down whatever was started during Mars in Aries. But as this Mars chugs along and enters into this dynamic conversation with the North Node and Uranus, something gets strongly activated. Now keep in mind, this could be something that activates your anger, your frustration, your impatience. That is certainly a signature of Mars where you have a strong reaction to what's happening in the world. You have a strong feeling or something is coming alive in you about the bigger picture, what's unfolding and what changes are taking place. But I feel like this Mars conjunction is going to bring in 
perhaps clarity around what you want to put energy towards, where you could feel a sudden shift or change in your values, in what matters to you. There could be something that you didn't see before and all of a sudden you're like, oh my goodness, this really matters to me. I really want this. And because it's in Taurus, it connects to what we really need and what we really want. I also feel like there's something here that could even surprise you. You could surprise yourself in what you do or what you choose or where you go. Like it's sort of this element of unexpected openings that could even catch you off guard. Similar to maybe you don't realize how much you want something until it's gone or you see what really matters to you through contrast, where you've had one experience and then you're like, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm done with that. I want a clean break. This is part of that energy where you break free from any cycles, patterns, habits, obsessions, addictions, any of the lower Scorpio energies you can break free from. You could have a sense of I want better in my life. I want more than just this. I want to do this based on my own terms, what really matters to me. And that could be part of this freedom energy where you're breaking free from something within yourself that you've already moved through, that you've already learned from. Almost like you're done with your own cycles of something or you're done with something that has run its course and served its purpose, and you're getting a new understanding of where you want to go next. And there's a strong support here for that growth, for what you're ready to move towards, develop, build, accept, put energy towards. I mean, this, again, it's fast-moving energy, but it's also very determined, which is a Taurus principle. Taurus will stick with something until it's done. It will see it through. Taurus can make commitments and invest. So what are you ready to invest in, in yourself, in your life, in your world? Because now you're understanding how important it is to you. And then here comes Mars pouring on some gasoline. And then we have Uranus firing it up. I mean, this is a lot of big energy for a new beginning. And that's really what it feels like. The universe is bringing in some kind of new start and then it's accelerating it. It's like it takes off fast or something really goes somewhere. It gets revved up. And that could surprise you. It could surprise you at how fast a new doorway opens, a new opportunity shows up. It could surprise you by how fast something moves ahead. So keep in mind that this energy is actually more comfortable going slow. That, again, is a Taurus energy signature. Taurus is like, let's see what happens. Let's pace this out. Let's be practical and sensible. Let's look at how this could come together. But then the universe just comes in and says, actually, this is happening. We're going forward. Pick up the pace. It's now. And so there is this momentum that comes in. And when you can see where it's happening in your own chart, it gives you a heads up of where the changes are happening. So keep in mind, this is change. This is very dynamic change. And what it can do is activate our nervous system. It can open up all of our fears and uncertainties and how's this going to happen and how's this going to come together and what about this? And then the mind starts going, right? The mind starts spinning. We can feel anxiety or worry. And what we're meant to do is go higher because again, Uranus is the higher octave of the human mind. So you go into the bigger cosmic perspective of something is right on time for you, right on time. It's opening up. And even though it could be very sudden and unexpected, I feel like it's putting you in alignment with a new direction that you're ready for based on the work you've done based on what you've been through, based on what you've completed and closed out, based on what you're ready to let go of. Even if it feels like you've been doing some really deep work and kind of like shoveling through, you know how when some big things come up and it just feels like it's this endless pit or you're just always shoveling through it. You're always trying to get rid of it, move through it, do the work, do the healing around it. This is the universe giving you a kapow. This door is open right now. And it does feel that big and that significant. So again, the energy is building 
and becoming more active the second half of July. And then Mars enters the conversation the beginning of August. And that really brings in more of that energetic movement, advancement, desire, reaction. Everything gets more alive when Mars enters the conversation. But then in August, August 10th and 11th, we have the Aquarius full moon at 19 degrees squaring Uranus in Taurus conjunct the North Node. And Uranus is ruled by Aquarius. So this brings in even more shifts and changes, unexpected news, unexpected developments. This Aquarius full moon is also conjunct Saturn. So it could feel like there's something where it slows down. There's the breaks that are applied, but there's still a lot of energy to harness and manage and work with. And it's almost like trying to grapple with something that could feel bigger than you. It could feel like there's a lot going on and how do you responsibly manage it and work with it. So we'll be talking about that more as we move into August. But I just want to give you a heads up that July and August are very dynamic energy points where big change is happening. It's happening at a global level and collectively, but it's also happening in the higher realms. And where I'm seeing this energy go is more into the 5D, where those of you who are light workers, star seeds, you're the change makers on the planet. This is part of your soul mission. There's something coming in that's advancing you on your soul mission based on the work you've done and what you've let go of because that Taurus energy wants to bring in more dirt, wants to bring in more foundation for you to build on. So there's something here that's meant to take you to another level, meant to take you to something else that's directly connected to your soul mission, and it's on. The time is now in July. July and August. So this is where things could feel like they're speeding up and you could certainly feel it in your body. Our body consciousness is very alive. And because we've done so much work to remove the denser, darker things that we've been holding across multiple lifetimes, it feels like this energy is now opening us up. You could feel lighter you could feel that you're traveling with more grace and more ease. You could truly feel ready for these new changes that are coming in. And you could also sense that these downloads are very important for whatever is being opened up for you. And again, I feel it as a release. I feel like there's something we're being released from. And it certainly feels like these old expired soul contracts that we've held and carried for lifetimes. It feels like there's things that we're meant to really understand are over for us. We've grown through them. We've learned through them. We've healed through them. And now we're saying sayonara to them so that we can step into the next chapter, the new developments, and the new people that we're meant to connect with going forward. Now, it's interesting to note here that even though we're talking about all this Taurus energy, Taurus is ruled by Venus. And the whole time that Uranus is conjunct the North Node with Mars, Venus is in Cancer which is a sign of her comfort. She does well in cancer, but she's more protective. She is behind the scenes. She is looking at what's happening within her personal world, what's happening within herself at a very emotional level. And Venus in cancer connects to our home, where we live, where we feel safe, where we go at the end of the day. It connects to family matters, women in our close environments, women you live with, women who are around you that feel like family, whether they are biological or not. Venus in Cancer, because she is more self-protective, she does like to be behind the scenes. And I feel like what she's moving through is an advancement in her emotional needs. And this could be where something comes up for you that you understand it really matters to you. So Venus in Cancer is offering 
another layer of energy to this very dynamic Taurus energy signature. And I feel like it's deeply connecting us with what we want and what we need. And this is personal for everyone, but it's looking at What do you need in your immediate environment? What types of relationships, connections, and people? What kind of family connections or support systems do you need that are really true for you? And if there are people who don't resonate at that particular frequency, people who aren't really a part of your tribe, because cancer is a tribal energy. It's our first experience of other people in a home environment. Cancer is our first experience of the family tribe. And it's almost like if people aren't really in that same energy field, they will probably leave. They will probably go off in another direction. Um, there could also be energy here of big moves where people are changing houses, changing homes, changing the foundation of their lives. That's how significant this energy feels, especially when you bring in Venus and Cancer and what she's understanding about her personal world and her home environment. So it could be sudden moves, quick moving developments, maybe something shifts in a big way in the family structure. Maybe there's big changes within your family. And of course, there's so many ways this can all play out. I'm just bringing up some of the bigger themes, but this is looking at what you really need in your life that provides a foundation and stability because the universe is shaking it up and really asking you to trust a growth process. That would be another key word here is that this energy is about growth. We're growing into some new areas of ourselves. We're growing into some new chapters of our lives and it feels very personal, meaning it could be something that you've been aware of, you've been working on, but others don't know about it. It feels very internal. It feels like it could even be the personal desires, wishes, and hopes you have are now coming up and moving forward. Meaning if there's something you've been secretly wanting in your life or there's been something you've been waiting for or waiting on, remember that God hears every prayer. The universe hears everything and knows your heart. The universe knows your heart. The universe knows what you need. The universe knows what you've experienced, what you've been through, knows your desires and your wishes. And I feel like this is something that's moving us forward into these new chapters and new areas of our lives that, again, maybe you thought wouldn't happen. Maybe you kind of gave up on it or you were like, I don't see how this could ever come together. I don't know how I would ever make this change in my life. It could even be something that you gave up on. Like you were so tired of waiting or feeling really heavy around it or just wanting something to show up and it hasn't. And we know that surrender is important in the spiritual journey. We know that it's important to let things go, to release our grasp on it so that we're not overly attached and also so we're not limiting the energy. This would be a good period of time to stay open to those unexpected developments and miracles that perhaps you gave up on because it was too exhausting. You weren't seeing anything come through. You didn't think it would happen. It could have been anything and it could have been something that was operating at an unconscious level within you, meaning it was an unconscious belief system or something that in previous energy cycles, it seemed to manifest or you seem to have certain things come up. But it's interesting because what I'm feeling is that this is new energy. This is new energy coming in, new energy coming forward. There's more here that you're meant to trust, even if you're tired of trusting. But I'm just feeling a very strong heart energy around this. And again, it feels like the private personal things in our hearts where we've had to do a lot of emotional work and very honest work with ourselves around our desires, our manifestations, what we have believed is possible in this life. I feel like this is some type of download that gives you new energies to work with 
based on what you truly value and desire now, based on what is possible now, based on what you're willing to own and believe about your life now. And it does feel like some kind of jolting activation where the universe shows you more of the bigger picture. Perhaps you even have an awareness around why something did not happen, why something did not come through previously, why the energy wasn't correct or wasn't in alignment. But now this is openings. This is forward moving energy. And in fact, it's a very significant timeline change. There is a trajectory here that is opening up and expanding that can take you forward. And I'm getting that image of a catapult, which is a good way to describe it when you think about how we can be pulled back into old parts of ourselves. So going back to that Scorpio lunar eclipse in May that was very intense, it could have felt like it pulled you back into something, some parts of yourself, some awareness that you were meant to work through. And now this Uranus conjunct the North Node is that catapult forward. And then Mars comes in and makes it more personal, really shows you more of what you're ready to break free from and break out of. So do keep in mind that because this is in Taurus, Taurus likes things to stay the same. But this energy is all about shifting it up, changing it up, breakthroughs, sudden life changes, big developments happening. And I feel like this is where the surprises happen, where you could all of a sudden be like, wow, I never thought I would want that. I never thought I would choose that. I never thought I would do this. So this is the energy too that's expanding our consciousness, where it's basically like the universe saying, never say never, because you don't know what is possible and what can be created next. And it's moving through Taurus where the stability that you relied on could be very wobbly. So definitely roller coaster energies here. You can apply this to the financial markets and to the economics that are unfolding. There's going to be turbulence. There's going to be a lot of things up and then down. There's going to be lots of shocks. There could be some very big drops in the stock market, some big unexpected rises in other resources. So this is where there's going to be a a lot of shaky ground in areas of our lives that we thought were stable or secure. But remember, Uranus hasn't been at this degree point. So it's new territory that's being opened up that's ready to bring in change, big change, sudden change, significant change. And because Uranus hangs out here for nearly three months, it's going to feel like it just keeps coming. Like there's just going to be, I, I get the shaking energy where there's going to be a lot moving and shifting ground and that this ultimately can show us some new potentials. It's almost like when something is cracked open, it allows a birthing process to occur. And I'm even getting the energy of breaking glass Not to be violent or not to be destructive, but when glass is broken, it clears an energy, right? It clears the air. Something shifts and what was an old form is now gone. So there's going to be a lot of changes happening here, July, August especially, and then it goes into October. Now in October, we're going to see Saturn retrograde in Aquarius move back to 18 degrees. So you can see why this 18 degree point is important, especially in the fixed signs, where Saturn at 18 degrees of Aquarius retrograde will be squaring Uranus, but it's not an exact square, meaning they're both at 18 degrees, but they are moving at different paces. And so they're not an exact square, but there's still a significant square here in October, the first half of October, as Saturn will actually station direct at 18 degrees of Aquarius, October 23rd. So what this means is that October is significant for revisiting some shifts and changes that we were moving through in 2021 where there's something coming through here that you're meant to reevaluate, reconsider, and look at 
in terms of what stays and what goes. And I feel like what we're understanding is how much we're meant to disrupt things that are outdated, things that are complete and expired. It's almost like we've been living within a certain energy that we've just accepted as part of the status quo. This is a time period where things get thrown up into the air. And it's sort of like, what if we don't have this system in place? What if we don't rely on this process? What if we don't allow certain things to be influential or important to us? We're really mixing up the status quo. This is revolutionary energy that comes across as chaos. And we're meant to move it forward. We're meant to move it forward. And what's interesting, I'm feeling like what we have been accustomed to doing is allowing things to divide us. But now we can step forward and say, no, we want to build some new solutions together. We want to move this energy forward. And I feel like that's part of the collective energetic experience here is that we are being asked to co-create with the universe in a whole new way. We're being asked to co-create new solutions, new advancements, new developments. Like what can we do differently? Because we have really awesome brains that love to think and find solutions and consider new potentials, new opportunities. So I feel like there's going to be a strong activation of creative energy, creative problem solving, creative solutions, things that are just perhaps crazy or seem inconceivable or just seem so avant-garde and so out there. But that's what we need. That's what we're looking for right now in terms of where humanity's at. So there's things that are going to be collapsing and crumbling. There's going to be more that's very unstable. There's going to be things that no longer work. They're no longer stable. It's almost like this energy is going to show us what is ready to go even more because we have higher energies coming through. And that's part of this disruption. It's interesting because I'm feeling like Uranus conjunct the North Node is this huge universal download of higher vibrating energies that just collapses the lower vibrating energies. And even though that can be perceived as destruction, it's also a new point of creation. So there's a process that we're in. There's a process that we're moving through. And if we can stay higher in seeing the bigger perspective, that allows the energy to keep moving forward. So if there's energies here that you're feeling very personally, almost like it's shaking you, it's shaking up maybe in your body, in your emotional world, it's shaking up something within you, there's something here that you're meant to co-create and move forward with that the universe is supporting. The universe needs this. The universe needs these new energies to move ahead. And I feel like it's going to be a very big time when we see advancements, or at least we have some new energies coming through that lead to advancements. And now I'm getting the image of more galactic visitors coming onto the planet, whether you want to call them aliens or UFOs or other energies that are coming through, there's going to be a lot more coming onto the planet now. And that's going to be part of the developments and changes that are happening. These energies could be very surprising and disruptive, especially in the mainstream energy field. But I feel like there's going to be even more beings who are revealed as being on this planet at this time. There's this opening of other energies. I'm also seeing it as they allow themselves to be seen. So I'm seeing that some energies have been cloaked, have been hidden, have not been viewable to the human eye. I'm seeing that there are more energies coming forward that the human eye is going to see accurately and be able to interact with and connect with. So that feels like a big advancement here on the planet that there's going to be more disclosures, more openings, more revelations, uh, basically more about how we're not alone in the cosmos, which we've known for decades and decades. But I think that there's going to be some kind of advancement that comes through that makes this even more real. I also feel like there can be permanent changes to the earth 
during this time, whether those are earthquakes or earth developments, something significant can unfold that changes the earth's foundation. I'm seeing the energy rise up. I'm going back to that cracking that I mentioned. It's almost like the energy comes up from the depths of the earth and comes forward out of the foundation, but it certainly feels like big earth changes are in the mix and that there's energies being revealed. Again, very surprising, unexpected. What is this? And it can activate a lot of the emotional body, a lot of the fear body. And so this is where we will need to implement our practices that ground us, that steady us, that give us a sense of comfort, even amongst a lot of dynamic change. Now, at a personal level, this energy is taking you forward in a particular area of your life. There's something you're advancing into and moving towards. There's growth here. Typically, that north node is about something that's faded, something that's destined, something that you're not meant to miss. So one of the ways to intentionally work with this energy is to be aware of what comes up for you in the second half of July into August that beautifully speaks to you, speaks to you energetically. It calls to you from those Taurus energies of your value system, your self-worth, your self-love. That's how it's energetically speaking to you. And the universe is putting you in alignment with something. Because ultimately, I feel like this is a positive breakthrough. This is advancing you. It's taking you forward in your life. And again, I feel it goes back to the heart. The universe knows your heart. The universe knows your desires. God, source, spirit understands what you want to make real in your life, in this lifetime. And this could be something that opens you up to that. But heads up, it probably isn't unfolding in the ways you had planned. Meaning this is not linear energy. This is not like you take one step and then the next step. This is a huge zigzag. It's an energy too that might feel that it's moving too fast at times. And keep that in mind because that's where we have to regulate our energies, look at what we're feeling and what's coming up, really be mindful of where our energy goes and then how to manage it in a way that grounds us and keeps us responsible for all of our energy. So very big developments here, new breakthroughs, new energy showing up, new soul contracts, new activations, and again, it's significant. Significant life changes are happening, big developments, things are breaking through. Again, it could feel like there's something that's breaking down that could be very chaotic and disruptive, but that's showing you what no longer is energetically in alignment with what you need or what's correct for you, especially based on all the personal work you've done or what you've really become clear about in your life and on your path. And I know this energy is big because I'm feeling dizzy. So I'm going to end this podcast now. I'm going to check in and see if I should do a part two on this because the energy keeps growing. Like I just feel it taking off in this whole new way, but I need to ground myself first before I can understand what else might come up or come through. So I'm going to end this podcast for now. And then I will check in and see if there will be a part two on the same topic. So again, you want to identify where you have 18 degrees of Taurus in your astrology chart. I have a video for you on YouTube called how to find a degree point in your astrology chart. And I give you some exercises to follow so that you can identify where that is for you. This shows you which house is being activated by this particular alignment, where things in your life are going to accelerate, where there's going to be big changes and basically everything that we just discussed in this show. So please look for that video on YouTube. Otherwise, I will be back here on Wednesday for our next podcast episode. You can find out more about me over at mollymccord.online. That's where I have all of my current programs and offerings. And I'm also on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to go eat something to ground my body, but I hope you have a beautiful day ahead and I look forward to connecting with you again soon.